So, what do you call a dinosaur made of cheese? Gorgonzilla, of course. Welcome to Cheese Friday. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Cheese Friday on the Radical Geek YouTube. For those of you who don't know, on Fridays, I usually take a cheese and we either make a recipe with it, but mostly it's all about, uh, you know, your old school sort of uh, cheese review. We talk about the uh, primary things that you look at with cheese, which is um, hardness, which has the range from soft to hard with uh, being hard, semi-hard, uh, medium, semi-soft, soft. And we've done breathe from soft and we've had some very hard dry aged cheeses. And so all of the ranges in between. Uh, we Then we also talk about uh, color, the appearance, and then we talk about texture, and finally the uh, flavor. So that's what we do with On Cheese Friday. And we have in the past on Cheese Fridays done quite a few extra sharp cheddars. But one thing we haven't done is just your basically maintenance uh, discount uh, cheddar. Your uh, big blocks that you buy at like Costco or Sam's Club. I call it maintenance, maintenance cheese. Uh, because it's uh, it's kind of something that you have just for like a daily use in cooking or all kinds of stuff. And we'll talk a little bit about this. I'm going to go ahead. I pulled the end off, but this is a new block, so we'll just uh, peel it back. Sorry for some crinkle. Boy, is that yellow, right? Make sure I get that in the middle. And you can see it doesn't have a lot going on. It's just a big, giant yellow block. So, uh, but why do more cheddar? Well, first of all, cheddar in its infinite varieties has subtle differences in flavors. And the sharper you get from your cheddar, the stronger, more intense the flavor is. And as you go down in the queue, uh, the more mild and more creamy the cheese becomes. And this one uh, is a great uh, middle ground. It's It's... It's labeled sharp, but I tell you, it really leans in to the very bare edge of sharp. It's really closer to that medium or even, you know, it borders that uh, medium sharp in taste and texture. So differences, why? Well, what's the difference anyways? So medium cheddars or um, extra sharp cheddars, extra sharp cheddars are aged from like uh, one to two years. I don't know where I'm looking. I have to look somewhere else if I'm thinking. So anyway, so extra sharp is aged from one to two years and then extra, extra sharp goes even longer. But sharp cheddars are only aged for like nine to 12 months. And what this does is it creates a, a softer cheese. It hasn't had time to develop some of that hardness. However, because it has aged for uh, almost a year, it, it is sliceable. It doesn't crumble or any of those kind of things. So it'll hunk right off. Let me just do that here. Beautiful. I mean, at work, so, you know, doing our cheese Friday at work because it's snack time anyways. And so, you know, you get this, this nice uh, slices. It's great. If you have a meat slicer, throw it on there because you can slice everything, not just meat. It's a deli slicer, I guess. And you can get those nice thin deli slices, perfect for cooking, um, all that kind of stuff. So, but now you might be saying, hey, Matreya, we've done like some yellow cheddars, some of those extra sharp, like from the Tillamook, but also some of them have been white. So why? 
I know I'm teasing you because we're not eating it yet, but we're, we will. We will. Because, you know, I'm all about waiting to eat the cheese. And I'm really looking forward to it. I actually plan to take this upstairs uh, during my break. And I'm going to maybe make a, a stuffed waffle with cheese and maybe, I don't know, a sausage or something in it. Uh, I'm really hungry this morning, so we'll see how it goes. At any rate, we've got, um, so why is it yellow? Well, does something happen to the, to the dairy to make it that way? Actually, no, it's dyed. And um, why, why would we dye it? It's dyed, but the good news is, is that ch cheese is dyed with annatto. It's a natural spice. It's a plant. Um, it's a natural colorant. It's not uh, problematic in any way, shape, or form. So feel free to enjoy your yellow cheese. Uh, an auto is awesome. Uh, most people will tell you there's not a flavor dis difference from the colorant. I will tell you that if you're paying attention, there is. Uh, it does help with the softening just a teensy bit. Most people will not recognize that, and that's fine. You don't have to. Basically, you can say there's no difference between white and yellow, but you can, you will, you will notice that there's a slight bit. Uh, uh, I don't have a good word, but you know what I mean? A little bit more uh, springy, scrunchy, soft, and creamy with your yellow cheddar versus your white cheddar. Um, also, the uh, the annatto will give it a slightly uh, teensy bit to the sweeter lean of things. Sometimes people say it's peppery, but I don't find that to be true. I do love to use annatto in sauces, and you'll find that it's a common ingredient in a lot of recipes that we use. Uh, may not have been for a while, but, you know, uh, I actually use turmeric more when I'm going for that yellow profile because I really love turmeric. But annatto is amazing all in its own right. Uh, it's from the achiote tree uh, seed, and in addition to cheese, uh, it gets used in ice creams, uh, a lot of baked goods, um, butters, oils. In case you're not getting the uh, trend here, uh, fat-based stuff. So it's really nice. Uh, I've gotten off topic from the cheese, right? So we've got our soft, sliceable, lovely, sharp cheddar. The other thing is this is melts just like a dream. It is very, very nice. It is perfect for sauce. Uh, it is fantastic for your sauce. It is great if you want to put it sliced and you want it on your burgers or uh, in your milk sandwiches or uh, if you're shredding it up to mix it in. It's great in chaffles. It's got the whole package in this little sharp cheese. So it's perfect. This is what you're looking for if you're making like your uh, like uh, shredded cheese. You know, we tell you don't buy the stuff in the package, the pre-shredded stuff, because it has the potato starch in it. Honestly, you know, at the end, in the end of it, really not the biggest deal. Use the shredded package if it makes you happy. But food processor and this giant uh, block of cheese is going to take less than like three minutes for me to have the whole thing shredded up if I want to. I'll probably hunk some of it up instead. So let's uh, give it a taste. So yeah, it's awesome. It's not as punch you in the face as like the extra, extra sharp. And it does still get a little bit dry, but not as bad as anything. You don't feel like you've got to have like a bunch of fluid with it. Uh, you would if you're going to eat more than a bite or two. It will be so perfect with some cured meats. Like I said, it's an all purpose cheese. That's why I was saying I call it a maintenance cheese, but it's really all purpose. It goes great with everything. Take it to parties, use it in all your sauces, uh, all of that fun stuff. And that's really all there is for Cheese Friday. I will tell you, I have a second video, but I just don't feel comfortable posting it because there's been something going on with my uh, cam and OBS. Uh, this is actually my laptop camera because we're at work, but my regular camera is getting really weird. And it's not, it's, 
it's trying to auto focus, but I can't find the auto focus setting to turn it off. And so like half the video is like choppy and blurry. Um, content's good, but well, it's a little bit crazy because some stuff went awry, but you know, that's par for the course. But really the blurry is actually bad enough that it was bothersome to me. And you know that I don't usually care about such things. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. But so I just, I hesitate to post it and I don't know. Uh, but on the other hand, the ingredients were expensive and it kind of goes with the two crazy ketos Friday challenge for fish, but also, uh, overlaps with cheese Friday. So, uh, I'm going to post this one bright and early in the morning and you let me know if you want me to go ahead and, uh, post the other video anyways, and you're not going to be like, what the heck, what is this crap? It's really bad, even for Matreya. So you let me know. It is fun. So I'll give you that little tip. And then I want you to know that Sunday we're going to do our live stream. And as long as the weather is good, cross your fingers. We've got a chance of thunderstorms. I don't want to be outside in the thunderstorm, not with camera equipment and a laptop. That would be bad. But if all goes well, we'll be outside and we're going to use the Blackstone. The coffee will be spectacular. I'm doing a, uh, a cold pumpkin uh, foam latte so it'll be really nice good for summer show you that pumpkin is not just for fall or what well, pumpkin spice no actual pumpkin so but I also have something special to show you because I got a birthday gift in the mail and it's super super awesome I can't wait to share it with you guys it's uh you're gonna be excited and you're gonna want one so I will talk to you later and share all of that with you. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you want me to post a crap video with just a little disclaimer that it's a completely garbage for the focus. And hopefully I can figure out where they hid that setting that has disappeared from where the normal place is and fix it all up. Or maybe this is the week that I decide let's go crazy and try to move to uh, StreamYard. I have a subscription, but I just haven't made the bump because I, everything was going well. So. Also, let me know what you think about just like regular uh, casual sharp cheddar and any special cheeses you might want in the reviews later in the future. Special recipes, drop it all in the comments. Also, you never know when comments might matter. See you later. Bye-bye.